And welcome back to Rome Total War, Skippy Eye Campaign, doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. And we are currently in a race against the Julii and the Brutii to train up as many troops as we can before they trigger the Marian Reform. And right now I'm going to start off by just uh, taking on Sparta over here. This is going to be a really tough siege because they've got... They're armored hoplites, and they're going to be really tough to fight either on the walls or in the city tr city streets. So let's go ahead and fight them. See what we can do. All right, so let's see what we got here. They're defending the walls. They've got one group over here. That's uh, one of their weakest groups. They got their armored hoplites. I mean, just 93 of them. Down here, we've got uh, some more armored hoplites and their militia cav. Uh, yeah, we got another group of armored hoplites over here. So let's go ahead and let these guys advance. Alright, I'm gonna move my, uh, Cretan archers up. Okay, let's go ahead and take these gates over here. I think, I'm thinking of, uh, shifting all my units over here because we have a straight shot to their town square. And, uh, this is really lightly defended. Our soldiers have done well so let's day. have them go take the these gates, take and I think I'm going to send everybody over there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and drop my ladders over here. We'll let these guys take this wall, and we'll just get everybody over there, making sure we take our time and stay away from the walls, and just get everybody over to that um, side over here on the right. All right, so we have the... Uh, the eastern gateway Our they should start firing on their own people yeah so we'll be defenses. doing some damage to these armored hoplites and I'm gonna have these guys start taking these towers over here these gatehouses so this gatehouse is gonna slowly wither these guys down and then we'll take this gate and uh, and move to onto their town square and we're just gonna have these guys sit tight and keep these guys over here preoccupied and then when these guys leave, we'll take this gate over here. Let's get our archers lined up. They should be able to fire through the gatehouse. And have these Histadi start throwing their Pila at the... The hoplites over here. Oh wow, they're doing mass casualties. Very nice. Okay. Let's get them over here. Towards this tower. And then have them, we'll hit them from both sides. And then, yeah, we're going to get these guys down here. They're going to go down this tower, and this other group's going to go down the other tower. Let's have them run. Alright, I'm going to have these guys <coughs> march forward. Let's get our Illyrians up front. I'm going to have these guys hold their fire for now. Get these... Get our equites to charge them if they come after my Hestadis. But uh, we should be able to take them out with our Pila and then with a quick charge. And I sent this group over here to take this tower and then I'm going to take this gatehouse too just, just in case we need it. Uh oh. Um, shoot. Turn your back one second and they they attack. Let's get our uh, equites here. Oh, we lost a lot of his studies. Alright, let's charge. Let's see if we can get these guys to waver. Man, they are not wavering. Even after losing the majority of their troops. And surrounded. These armored hot flights are really tough. They're probably gonna fight to the last man. No, they're broken.
We got some movement over here. Is that their general's bodyguard? Where's he going? He's on the wrong side of the city. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, I've noticed some movement over here. I think they finally caught on to my plans. They're headed this way. We're gonna have to be prepared for that. So they may come and hit us from behind over here. Or they're turning back to the to the town square. They're going back to the town square. I'm gonna go ahead and take these walls over here. And we might be able to hit this group of armored hoplites from the gatehouse. I don't know. Just gonna try it. Alright, I seem to lure them in, so uh, let's get our peltis up here. We've got our hoplites in front. That's a very good position for them. We've got, uh, they're coming at us with their missile. Missile cab, but we've got Archer backup. And then we've got our Lyrians. Let's get our general not too far bot behind them to give him uh, increased morale in case their general comes after us. I'm not sure where he's going. We do have troops on the other side of town, so they might be coming after them. Oh, here we go. Uh, we gotta mess with these hoplites over here. Okay. Uh, can we reform up over here double time? And get these equites over here double time. This is kind of an awkward position for us. I didn't see these guys. I thought these guys were retreating, but it looks like not. But looks like we should be able to hit him in the back with our uh, Hastatis as they're chasing after our Equites. Oh, what are they doing? Why did we charge him like that? That was dumb. We just had him back up and then they decided to charge. Okay, now we want to charge. Hit him in our back with our Equites to get a little bit of charge bonus. Doesn't really help too much with these uh, armored hoplites. They're still eager. Just incredible morale with these armored hoplites. We got them totally surrounded. Our equities are just getting slaughtered over here. But, man, our Equites are doing pretty good. They've got pretty good morale. Even though they're being slaughtered, they're staying in it. Keeping the uh, enemies' backs to the Pistatis. Okay, now they're routed, but... Uh, actually, we're steady. They've rallied. 26 guys left. Okay, they've routed. We got them. All right, let's check out on the fight over here. We Looks like we took out the militia cab, or they backed off. Not sure what they're doing with their uh, general's bodyguard at this point. Oh man, I didn't even notice that. They snuck up another guy here. These Hastatis are doomed. There's no chance. They have no chance. Oh, it says defeat seems certain on the armored hoplites. Maybe we can win. I don't know. But they got their armored, their heavy general's bodyguard coming up. Another unit that I just wasn't paying attention with. I was trying to sneak behind them. 
Let's see if I can get my armored hoplites up here. Followed by some Hastatis. This is my main force. I'm trying to focus with them. Here's the general's bodyguard. I want him to go up against my hoplites. Just gotta. I want my Cretan archers to fire. All right, here we go. They're straight up against the hoplites, but um, kind of already overwhelmed them. Let's get some more backup for them. Get our Equites, I mean our Hastatis up here. They're gonna wipe out those Hoplites in no short order. Let's get these guys up. All right, they wiped out our Hoplites. Here they come after our Hastatis. This just insane general's bodyguard. Let's uh, try to rally our guys. Yeah, yeah, we want to engage with them. Want to get our archers firing. Get out of there, Equites. Oh, they've routed. They were a good distraction. Okay, we've got 42 guys left in the General's Bodyguard. Still, still a lot of fight in him. After taking out most of our Hastatis. All right, let's get my general forward. I think it's time. You only got 22 guys left. There's their, well, we had another couple of guys route. Let's see if we can rally again. Come on, get that, get their uh, faction leader. As our cavalry just clobbers our own guys just to get to them. There's my general. They've like leveled up three times in this battle. Come on, six guys left, five guys left. You can take him. That faction leader seems invincible. Come on, general, get him. All right. Oh, we got more guys just running right into the square. All right. Let's just get everybody in here. Taking insane casualties. All right, let's have our general charge and see if we can hit him in the back. Okay, back off, general.
All right, let's have our general charge in again. Hit him on the sides. Back off. Oh no, our general's right in the thick of it. Get out of there, general. Thank you. Man, these armored hoplites. They are still, still tons of them left. And I know I'm doing a lot of friendly casualties right now, but man, I can't even, they're just so slow to kill them. Maybe we can get surround them. Get some Velites on the side. We're hitting them in the back, but we're not hitting them from all sides just yet. Okay, let's go Velites. More guys routing. Let's rally. All right, 51 guys left. My general went in there again, which is stupid of me to do that. Get him out of there. Even with just 41 left, they could still get him. And we've got him totally surrounded. Look at these guys just leveling up like crazy, fighting to the last man, surrounded. Just doing massive casualty kills. We've lost 43% of our army. Don't run now. There's only 28 of them left. No, don't you attack. All right, 13 guys left. Well, we just lost crazy casualties here. 1,200 guys lost, and we killed 759. I definitely made a lot of mistakes in this battle, um, but it was a tough army to fight because we didn't really have, you know, they have just so much better units than us. Uh, those armored hot blights are way better than our uh, Principes and Equite and, and Hastatis and stuff and the general bodyguards so it was a really tough battle I could have obviously done better and I am gonna enslave this I don't want to kill too many people because I need to retrain my armies also you know it's a pretty close to my home territory so it's a pretty good idea to keep some settlers here so so that's it for Greece we managed to destroy that faction so pretty good and we've got the Temple of Nike here giving us plus two experience. Let's go ahead and train up our troops here for a little bit. And then we'll tear this uh, this temple down. Let's go ahead and get an arena first so that we don't need to leave so many troops here. And we can get... All right, we got a decorated hero for Marcellus. So that's good. All right, over here in Nepti, I'm going to go ahead and disband uh, one of my Libyan mercenaries. And can't get that peasant yet. Maybe I'll do both of them. I'm afraid the public order will drop, but nope. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get... Actually, I don't think I need to get another peasant just yet. I don't see that their unrest should go down. Yeah, let's just keep... Let's not recruit another peasant just yet. I'm going to get highways over here in Serta just to deal with... Work with trade over here. So Num Numidia is down to one territory left in the west and two in the east. I'll take care of the west first. I'm slowly building up an army over here to take out the east. And they do have troops marching towards us, but they're not a big deal. I've got some peasants here in Sicily that I want to take care of. So I, I don't really have any troops over here, just peasants. We do have one general. 
But I need to get... I've been training a little bit over here. I'm kind of running out of money already. Yeah, I don't think I can build in Sagastica. Alright, let's get this spy on the move and see if we can spot any more Numidian armies coming our way. Alright, with that I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Well, wow, here comes Spain attacking me again. Alright, so the Senate wants me to go after Pontus, which I can oblige them, but I'm going after Sardis first. I do have 10 turns. I should be able to take it by then. So I got my Triarii. Nice. Alright, looks like I have to sally forth and uh, hit this uh, Spanish army. Let's see what they've got. Uh, a couple of Iberian infantry, some skirmishers, war dogs, some cavalry. Of course, their factioners got 77 bodyguards. Let's go ahead and fight them. All right, I'm gonna get all my guys out of the gates first. Let's start with our uh, start with our cavalry, double time, and then just wait. They're getting closer to being in range. All right, our archers are in range. We're firing. Slingers are in range. All right, here comes their warhounds. And it looks like they are routing before they could uh, get in range. Nice. Looks like their whole army's routing, which took me forever to set this battle up, and now they're just going to run away. That's no good. Well, let's engage with my equites just a little bit. Take out these Iberian infantry. Well, I managed to kill 388. They took up. It took me forever to do this battle, and then they just ran away. That's. I just hate that. Yeah, and I think because they attacked me, I didn't get to complete my uh, shrine to Saturn. I think I will move my army out though. So they went up here. I don't know if I should follow them. They went over into Gaul's territory. If I don't follow them, I think they will uh, come back. But I don't think they can retrain those guys. Well, they do have territory up here. That's their capital. Okay, I think I'm going to take a small army over here that I was using as reinforcements. And get them to uh, take on Carthago Nova. They don't have much here, so I think I'll be okay. And then I'm going to go march after those uh, survivors from that last battle. Alright, let's go and attack them. Alright, looks like they got the high ground. But we can try to take this slope over here. Where are they going? Oh, they're just forming up. Alright, they're going after my cavalry while I was trying to sneak behind them. But I think I can surround them. Got my general here. Uh, they're not routing as quickly as I'd hoped. Okay, let's go after these guys. Okay, these guys, we got them to route. Good. Yeah, I was sneaking my infantry up on this hill and uh, had my cavalry here as a distraction and they just charged me. So, um, actually it worked out pretty well because now they don't have much of cavalry left. Just their general's bodyguard. And we did manage to take the high ground, so got around him. Let's get our cavalry back to join our main forces now that we have the high grounds. Also the benefit is uh, their troops have been changing position so much they've uh, they're exhausted now and my cavalry is winded but we should be able to rest them and we have the high ground. 
And they're in range of our archers. I'm going to get my slingers forward. I think slingers do a lot of friendly fire if you don't... Well, we have high ground, so I think it's not necessary. Because I don't think they have as big of an arc as archers do. Well, are we out of range already? Their general's bodyguard is uh, charging us, so I'm getting my cavalry forward. We're going to hit him. He's chasing after our Velites, who I think I'll just have him stand and fight just to get him to stop charging. It's going to do a lot of damage to our Velites, but um, we're going to overwhelm him with our cavalry. Uh, let's rally. Our Velites have routed. We got the enemy general, yes. Uh, I think since most of their guys are skirmishers, I'm gonna go after, I'm just gonna go ahead and charge. All right, well I wiped out that army, only lost 98 guys, not too bad. Unfortunately I had to waste a whole turn just chasing after those guys. Alright, here's another Numidian army. I think uh, we've got guys over here ready to march. Not sure if I can get them out of the town just yet. Might have to build more peasants. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have uh, this case over here build a watchtower. Uh, might as well go all the way. And then we'll rejoin them when we can. All right, I'm going to hit these uh, rebels over here. Oh, they're fleeing. And I'm out of movements. Let's have these guys join up together. We'll get them next turn. Over here in uh, Porolissum, I'm going to retrain a lot of these guys. Uh, this, this city has a lot of upgrades. Uh, we have a weaponsmith. And I think they have this... Uh, yeah. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and retrain before we tear this temple down and march our armies out. Looks like uh, the Scythia and Thrace had a major battle over here. And Thrace's army has uh, been reduced. That's good. I'm just going to let them continue to uh, fight each other. Uh, I think I do want to go ahead, go ahead and uh, get a watchtower going. Let's go ahead and get one over here, and then hide him in the woods. Hopefully, no one attacks him next turn. We'll see. I could give him a little bit of an army just in case. They're not doing anything important. Yeah, instead of getting the mines here, even though I need really need the income. I'm going to get roads since I have so many troops here, and this is such a good place to train up. So I've got a lot of tr troops to train up, so I can uh, transport them a little bit quicker with these roads. So we'll go ahead and get that first. Let's see how the Julia are doing. Up to 20,300. They don't really have... They have 0% population growth, so the only way they're going to grow is through slavery. And then uh, over here in Tarentum, we're at 2,000. They have negative population growth. Uh, but they have a lot of armies, and they're going to start marching out. I see them over here, Captain Appius over here. He is within range of Sardis. Let's go ahead and cut him off. I'm going to go around and assault from the other side, just so I'm closer to cutting the uh, broody eye off from any attack north, maybe. I don't know. Let's just try it. And we'll go ahead. Attack. We'll get some rams. Surprised they don't have bigger walls than just wooden palisades. Not too much inside. They do have their faction leader who's got a hundred bodyguard. Yes. Alright, let's load up an army on this fleet and get them moving out. We just took uh, Sparta, so we should be able to move out. Alright, let's get this army moved out. 
Yes, Captain. Out of move, sir. All right, I'm gonna uh, blockade these uh, ports of Pergamum. I know Pontus has quite a few soldiers. Let me take a look at the uh, faction rankings. Yeah, they actually have a pretty decent military, so they must be hiding around here somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if we get attacked next turn. But we have a pretty good army here, so I like our chances. And I'm going to send these guys up to take Nicomedia, or maybe Pergamum first, and then Nicomedia. So I tried to get a ceasefire with Dacia. They still don't want to, even after we've taken out most of their armies. All right, well, I'm out of money, so I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Doesn't look like uh, Pontus has done anything. See a little bit of a, a little army over here and over here. They moved out of the city, but really nothing much. Uh, Cretan Archer. We'll have to grab him after the siege. Imperator. All right, let's go ahead and take the city. The All right, we've got their faction leader and a couple of really three really large infantry units that don't have a lot of attack have decent defense let's go ahead and fight them all right I don't think it's necessary to uh, split up my army so I'm just going straight up at the front gate but I am sending up three rams to take two different walls it's going to get my archers up here to hit these uh, infantry as soon as we can. They'll probably flee to the town square. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of volleys off before they retreat. There we go. Doing some damage. They're lightly armored. They have good defense because they have the big shields, but they don't have great... They don't have any armor, so... Should be easy to take them. With arrows. All right, they're sending their faction leader. Oh yeah, he's a missile calf. They're sending their faction leader after us. So we can do some damage to him, I hope. We killed one guy. There we go, a couple more. They do have pretty good armor, so it's tougher to kill them with missiles. All right, looks like they're wanting to Defend the gates, which I love. All right, we're doing some more damage to their, with our, to their infantry with our missiles. They only have a few guys left. Our Lyrians are throwing their javelins. Okay, I think we got an opportunity if they're gonna defend the gates. I'm gonna get my infantry in. Okay, it looks like he might be going around. I'm going to get my Hostadis in the center here. And these Illyrians too. I'm going to get my cavalry a little bit closer to the gates. And... Get my archers just right behind him. Because it looks like he's going to come to me from this side. Actually, you know what I should do? I should hit him from behind when he gets me here. Let's go double time like this. Get our Lyrians. Actually, what I want to do is uh, get all my guys back. Like this. Let's get my cavalry up front towards here. And these guys are going to hit him from this side. All right, here they come. Let's get their infantry ready. Okay, we're already firing with our archers. We're gonna have a missile duel here. They're throwing at our equites. That's fine. If they come this way, we'll get them from two different sides. Well, three different sides. Here they come. Alright, let's get him with our cavalry. 
send these guys in. We got them completely surrounded. Let's go. That was good. He's retreating. Hopefully we can kill him. He's going right through our guys. Get him. Nice. Now we just got one unit of spearmen to deal with. This is a much better siege than the last one. All right. Looks like we've got them nearly surrounded. We've got Equites over here. Equites over here. I'm going to try to lure them out with some archers. And we've got the bulk of our troops in this square over here. All right. They are in range. And we'll see if they... What they do they come after us all right here they come let's send our infantry to charge and get these guys to charge as well and now that they're out of the square so let's kill these guys here if we kill this one guy before they get back into the square then uh, they should route. There we go. We got them. The enemy army is in Pretty nice victory. Only lost 102. That was a really well worn siege. And this day is clear. Much better than my last one. So there's hardly anybody in this settlement. So I'm just going to occupy it. And look at that. We got this wonder. New religious buildings. 30% cost. That's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Demolish this and get Saturn. Repair the walls and get Saturn. We're going to do low taxes because there's nobody here. Okay, here's the main Pontus army right here. wonder where the Julia, I mean the Brutia are headed off to. Don't know. Why do they have such big armies here on roads? All right, let's land this army over here. Aye, aye, Captain. And hit these guys. Attack! All right, we've just got some heavy cav and the faction leader. I think uh, we'll be okay. Uh, they've got the stone walls. Let's just do ladders. We probably only need like three. We'll do four just in case. I don't think any of their reinforcement armies can reach us. Let's get this army marching out. We'll leave our war dogs. I want to get those Cretan archers. So I'm going to get my general over here and just sit on this uh, water crossing for now. And then uh, we'll probably move up to Nicomedia in a couple of turns maybe and hit him over there. General. Attack. The siege is broken. I'm going to get my spy into the city. And then attack. We'll just do it like that. We'll get our ladders. I need to get some guys over here to pick up all the troops over in Kydonia. I have some archers and uh, equites. I need to get a general over there. But I kind of need my generals here. Fortunately, most of my generals are up here. These were my men of the hour. Let's get continue to recruit up here. Sir. All right, let's get the guys that have been retrained and get them marching out and down towards the action. We'll have to march around Thrace. Hopefully Thrace doesn't want to attack us. Although we could just take them out right now. They don't have much of an army, but I want them to keep Scythia busy. All right, let's move this peasant over here to Luvavum and disband him. And now Luvavum can get the governor's villa. We can raise the tax a little bit. And actually train another peasant. It drops the population back down, but we already got the governor's villa, so we're good. And now I wanna focus on this town over here. We got a thousand population. We'll start sending uh, peasants over here. And disband him. I need to all right, I'm going to take care of these rebels real quick. If they don't stop retreating. Just a couple of Iberian infantries and a peasant. 
Alright, well we lost a few guys, but not too bad. Took out most of them. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and besiege Carthago Nova. Let's get our ramps. Oh, we can only afford one ram. Well, we got some more troops I can unload. Well, an archer. And we can get two? Yeah, we can get two rams. Good. I'm gonna get a fleet around here just to scout out their coastlines and see what they've got over here. I'm gonna just uh, check out I don't know where their army went, but I'm going to get my spy to move forward. Okay, I think they might have retreated back to their capital. We'll eventually catch up to our army. I'm just going to get Publius back into Oscar for now. And I can retrain a few of my guys. Raise the taxes so I can have more money. I can't really build anything in here this turn. I'm out of money already. Wow, look at over here. Uh, Gaul's got a fort full of uh, troops. So maybe they can keep the uh, Julia at bay a little bit. I see this army here, but they haven't moved for a couple of turns. Yeah, maybe uh, Julia will come make peace with Gaul. I don't know. Maybe they can hold them off a little bit so that their cities don't grow too much. We still got uh, 20,551. And then over here in Tarentum, we're at 20,300. I don't know what this army's doing over here. I think they were chasing peasants, but they kept marching. Are they going to go after more territories in the east? I don't know. Looks like we got a little bit of a rebel army over here. I'm going to send uh, Nias over here to take care of them. Let's just do a couple of equities. And that should be good enough. All right. Well, I think I've done enough this turn. I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. So I think I'm going to take Marcellus over here and uh, just take out this army, but I don't want him to run away, so I'm just going to take a few guys. And uh, hopefully they'll reinforce and I'll be able to take out their reinforcements. We got one to one ratio. Probably be a little bit of a t challenge, but um, we should be able to do that and take out, man. These uh, heavy cavalry are going to be difficult. You know what? I think I need a couple more equites. Let's go ahead and send two more equites. And hopefully they don't retreat. Yeah, there we go. That should be a little bit better. Having those uh, extra two equites, I'll be able to surround them and uh, deal with those two heavy cav units. Alright, let's hit this group first. Do get as few casualties as we can. We want to get them with our Cretan archers too. Let's go like this. And yeah, their general's bodyguard is behind us. Their heavy cav is behind us. We need to move out a little bit quicker. Let's double time. They got some phalanx and some just regular infantry. It's just really weak infantry. Let's try to take them out as quickly as can. All right, accretion archers are in range, or at least one of them is. Let's get them firing. And they're still a long ways away, so I'm going to continue the bombardment. Uh, looks like they are charging after us. Let's get our infantry to hit them. Okay, they're backing off. Let's get our infantry to back off. Move our cavalry a little bit closer. We gotta manage this. We gotta be careful. Yeah, we got phalanx coming right after us. Let's back off. Alt, throw your pila. Uh, you guys back off. Don't hit these guys head on. Should be fine. Okay, back up, back up. Don't fight those pikes directly. Okay, I'm gonna send my general to take on these guys that have routed. Let's focus our archers on their pikes right now. Our general will take out these guys. And okay, here comes their 
Uh oh, here comes their heavy calf. Um, we gotta wrap this up really quickly. Let's go ahead and charge. Let's go ahead and charge. Let's get these guys lined up good. All right, wait for it. These guys hit them on the left. You guys hit them on the right. Now, charge, charge. Okay, we got their general. Okay, these guys are routing. Get our infantry up here. Here comes their heavy cav, run. Get our heavy cav back up here. This cav is we took care of that unit completely. Let's have this one. You're going to run down these pikemen. You guys are going to come up here, help out. We're already firing missiles at their uh, heavy calf. Are they retreating or just doing their skirmisher things? Uh, I think I have no choice but to charge their heavy cav. We did a little bit of damage with our archers, but not much. All right, well, we did take out 684. We only lost nine guys, but we'll have to start the siege over again, unless our spy opens the gates. we we'll just have to wait another turn. That's fine. That's fine. What did he get? Oh, another command star for Marcellus. He's uh, pretty good. Yeah, one more turn won't hurt us. We still have like nine turns to get over here to Nicomedia. Okay. Gaius is going to go over here and uh, attack this army. Mostly infantry. We got some heavy calves, some chariots, and some skirmishers. But yeah, just a large infantry force. All right, we've got a hill. We're going to defend it if we can. But they're coming at us pretty fast. All right, our Cretan archers are firing. They're, I think they're just forming up right now. So we're doing pretty good damage to them. We're moving our Illyrians up front. Let's get some cavalry. Protect our left flank over here. And a few guys to protect our right flank. Yeah, we should do massive casualties with our archers. Well, right now just 3%. I'm going to shift my guys up onto the ridge of this hill. And get us double timing. Looks like they are charging some guys forward. Barbarian mercenaries. Let's get our cavalry to hit them. Have these guys back off these guys back off so we can hit them get a encirclement okay there we go cavalry reform up what's that that's heavy calf but they're not engaged they're just forming up oh what happened over here looks like they took on our infantry and lost didn't notice that oh they're in a full retreat they're in a full retreat. Let's go. We should be able to should be able to catch them, or at least their infantry. All right, let's get ahead of them. Let's go ahead, hit this group. They do have bonus fighting cavalry, but they should waver pretty quickly. They're not. They're doing a lot of damage to our cavalry. I didn't do a good job of encircling them. Boy, these guys are got good morale. They don't have a general. Oh, shoot. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage here. A lot of casualties. Getting sloppy. These guys are just skirmishers. A 
Come on, cavalry, catch him. Alright, we got him. We got a little bit careless, especially with our equites. We did lose 267 when they were retreating, so that's not good. Our equites took quite a beating. Alright, well, I can expect a pretty big counterattack next turn. Uh, I wonder if I should just merge these guys. I hate to lose so many units that could be retrained, but I want to get some mercenaries. So, let's go ahead and merge these guys. That'll let us get a couple of mercenaries. Which we're so short on. We still have a good amount of uh, cavalry, so we're going to go ahead and just get these hoplites. And that should be able to help us out with any counterattack that they make. They do have a general's bodyguard over here. They also have a city with a family member. So we should be okay with any kind of counterattack. Uh, looks like Sardis over here. We can't recruit anybody. And they're going to riot next turn. Nothing we can do about it. I can't get anybody back there. I should have uh, hired a mercenary and moved him in here, but oh well. It's not the end of the world. I think I'm going to get Publius over here, get him marching out of Oscar and headed down over here. We should take Carthago Nova pretty soon, but I think I will go ahead and get him just marching down here. Uh, let's see if we can do something. Okay, yeah, we're okay here with public order. And I think I will just go ahead. Let's take a look at them first. What do we got here? Some Scutari. Pretty decent units. And Iberian Infantry. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I think we got him. It's a, we should be able to handle him. Let's go. Alright, let's go ahead and take the walls. I don't see them contesting them at all. Do you have some... Oh, that's their general's bodyguard right there. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's move our archers forward a little bit. See if we can start lobbing some arrows over the walls. I think I'd rather fight them at the gate than in the town square. Alright, we're hitting them with arrows. That's good. Kick out that Scutari. Uh, we're taking missile damage from these Scutaris. Ooh. Taking a lot of missile damage. Let's get out of the way. Yikes, these guys have quite the missile attack. Let's move our archers forward. Show no mercy! Okay, archers, you should be able to fire through that door. Not doing too much damage because they got their shields and they're able to block us. See if these archers can fire at these guys. They got our, their backs turned to us at the moment. No? Alright, there we go. There we go. Doing some damage. Getting him in the back, that's always good. Still have quite a few guys left. Alright, I'm going to have my archers halt. Let's go ahead and get our infantry in here. Let's go. This might be a little bit risky because they got their general's bodyguard right up there. Hoping he doesn't come down. Okay, they've routed already and the general's bodyguard is retreating. Alright, now let's try to set a Proper, a proper trap for them. I'm planning to go over here, I think. So we can set up a group of Hastatis here and then surround them in this area like this. I think that will be the best trap. And I can, I think my archers should be able to shoot over this, these uh, buildings. All right, my trap is set. Let's go ahead and have our archers fire at will. They should start, they should charge out at me. Let's see if I can do this. All right, here they come. Get these guys to fire at them. 
And then... Wait for it. Charge. We got him surrounded. Let's get, get our equites in there too. Come on, guys. Get in there. They are pushing through with their heavy cav. But we got him surrounded. There's their general's bodyguard. If we could just kill him. That would be great. There we go. It was our standard bearer. Nice. Now, these guys should route pretty quickly. With their general dead. Yeah, nice. We got it. Only 206 kills. I actually feel pretty good about that. It's, it's Considering what we had and what we were up against, that's pretty good. Alright, what do we got here? Actually, pretty big city. We'll go ahead and enslave it. And here we go. Here's some armies coming after us. So we got three guys down here. Three guys up there. And then a big old army right there. Let's get Publius down here to help out. But fortunately, we should be able to retrain up. Get some more equites. Repair the walls. And grab an arena. Let's get some reinforcements on this ship over here. We've got archers, cavalry. Oh, we can't move. Used up all our movement points. That's fine. Let's get our spy in the Numidian capital over here. Waiting. It won't be long before we finish off Numidia. Got a couple of armies going up here that will help us out. Let's build a watchtower. All right, Corinth is going to get some paved roads. Sparta's going to get some, get a forum. And we're already out of money. Isn't that crazy? All right, we got some troops over here. I'm going to pick them up. Send them out. All right, let's get our northern armies to march down to help out with uh, Pontus. I've retrained everything I can. I'm out of money. Oh no, we got a little bit of a rebel problem over here. We'll have to deal with that eventually. Alright, so Tarentum, looks like their population might have gone down. I don't know. I don't remember what it was last time, but 20,440. And Aretium's at 20,797. That definitely did go up a little bit. But I can see uh, Gaul actually has a pretty good army. We'll see what they can do against the Julii. I don't see them threatening any new territories. They might be coming after uh, Gaul over here or maybe Spain up here. I'm not sure. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.